This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by ajuice.com. In this After Effects tutorial, we will create a typography style poster animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. We will also add some gradients and glows to get the final result. It's a pretty abstract design but looks super cool. So I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition, which is going to be 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Let's call this render as our main render comp. Hit OK. Let's create one more composition, which is going to be those swirly background lines. So I'm going to call this line or lines with the same exact settings. Select the ellipse tool. And I'm going to set the stroke to around two pixels. We don't need any fill. So I'm going to click right here and set this to none. Hit OK. And from the center, I'm going to hold control and shift at the same time to create a circle like so. Then we can align the circle into the center. You can find this align tab into windows align and then you can just, you know, dock it wherever that you want to. So here we have our circle. Let's rename this to line. Then let's animate this. So first of all, I'm going to go right here, hit S to bring down the scale properties, create a keyframe, go back and set this to zero. Let's select the keyframes, hit F9 to easy ease them. And boom, there we have a very simple animation. So in order to add those nice swirly lines, what I'm going to do, the first effect that we will be using is turbulence displace. So I'll go into effects and preset, type in turbulence displace. I can just simply drag and drop it like that. And basically we get this really cool and interesting shape that we can create using the size and the amount. So you can go really crazy with this, you know, create kind of an electric effect as well. And you know, do uh, various different things. But first thing that we need to do right now is set the displacement from turbulent to twist, then bring down the amount to 50. And let's increase the size to around 250. That looks good. And also let's animate the turbulence, the offset turbulence. So basically we can offset this turbulence and get a really interesting look. So I'm going to set this to around zero. All right, let's go to around one second, create a keyframe on the offset, go all the way up to 10 seconds. And let's set this to around something like 4,000 or something. So basically we have this really nice and simple movement. I think it's a bit too fast. So let's set this around 3000. Yep. That is what I am looking for. I can set this to full res so we can see the final output. Now in order to add duplicates, we can use echo, but you can also, but you also get an option to add repeaters, but it will not work the way I want it to work because we cannot add delay into a repeater or maybe we can, if, if that is the case, then do let me know in the comment section below of how we can add a delay in a repeater. Anyways, I'll go into effects and preset type in echo. Let's drag and drop that onto this layer. And then I'm going to set the echo time to minus 0.1 and increase the number of echoes to 20. You can play around with number of different copies that you want to go with, but 20 works good for me and everything else. I'm going to leave it at default and boom, there we have our shape. I'm going to set this to half because this is going to be a bit heavy on the system, but we get this really cool and interesting shape. As you can see, looks pretty nice. Now let's go back into our main render composition, drag and drop in the line comp that is the circles and now we can actually give some really nice look and add some style to this so first of all let's create a background hit ctrl y to create a background to create a solid call this bg for background i'm gonna hit ok bring that below and let's add a, a four color gradient on this so i'm gonna type in four hyphen color gradient like so And for this one, I'm going to go with a nice dark purple color and everything else I'll go with black. All right. I'm going to set this one right over here. Like, so we play around with the intensity a bit. 
and let's increase the jitter amount to 20%. Let's see in order to avoid or any kind of color bendings that we may get. So that is looking good. Let's then let's select the lines and add the four color gradient as well. So we get this really nice look. I can bring them closer like so. So we get a really intense color. So for the yellow one, I'm going to set this to around a nice blue color. Let's set this to a nice purplish color. For this one, I'll go with a nice dark pink. And for this one, I'll go with a nice yellow. All right. And then I will add some glows on this. So I'm going to type in glow into effects and preset. Let's drag and drop this one. And now one thing that you need to keep in mind that whenever you're working with glues, make sure you always work with 16 bits or 32 bits. So I'm going to hold alt and click on this icon. So it's going to switch to 16 bits. If I click one more time, it's going to switch to 32 bits. And that is what I want. Now, if when I increase my glows and play around with the number of different settings, the glows are going to be really, really nice. As you can see in the final output, maybe I'll bring down the intensity to 0.7 or 0.8, something like that. And as you can see, the glows look much nicer. I think I'll go with 0.8. It looks really, really nice, I think. Now, before we proceed further with this tutorial, let me tell you about today's sponsor, AE Juice. They have an amazing I Want It All bundle, which contains over 5,000 animated elements like transitions, presets, titles for your project. It comes with a handy pack manager plugin, and this is one of those investments that will last you for a lifetime. Plus, they also have a starter pack, which has over 100 animations that you can try it out for free. For more information, check out the link in the description below. Pretty cool. You can also play around with threshold. If I bring that down to 50, we would get a much more uh, luminance in our glow, which is pretty nice. You can anytime play around with different colors and, you know, create a really interesting look. Now I'll go ahead and finally add my text. So I'm going to select my text tool and let's type in a text. For the font, I am using integral CF. You can use any font that you like basically. So basically this is the complete uh, base of this effect, but a very cool thing that you can do with this method is if I go back into my lines comp, I can use a different shape instead of using this particular circle. So if I want, I can go right here and select a polygon tool. I can create a polygon from the center like so. Let's turn on, turn off the eclipse and now we have a polygon. I can go into polygon path one. Let's bring that down to around three and we get a triangle and you know, basically I can get really crazy shapes using this. I can even use a text if I want to. So let's hide this and I'll select my text tool, type in something like an S. Let's scale this up, align this into the center. Maybe it's a bit too big. So something like that switch to strokes we don't need any fill for this and bring down the stroke to around two and then just copy the turbulence displace and the echo hit ctrl c let's move my time indicator at the very start and let's hit ctrl v on this one and we get this really cool look as you can see and if i go back boom there we have our S shape. So um, the possibilities are quite endless using this particular effect. You can create some really interesting stuff for now. I'm going to go with the circle that we previously made like so. But basically you get an idea. You can use any logo and stuff. You can also animate our text. So I'm going to quickly animate our text. I'm going to go to one second. Let's go into animate and add a position and add a propa uh, <laughs> property property of opacity. Let's bring down the position to around 50, bring down the opacity to zero. Let's set the offset to hundred percent, create a keyframe, go back to zero and set this to minus hundred, go into advanced properties and set this to ramp up and bring up the ease high and ease low all the way up to hundred percent. So we get a nice text animation. We will move this a bit forward in time and let's see what we get. So you can see we get this really nice text animation as well. You can add a logo as well if you want to. Pretty cool.
And again, as I said, I can increase the number of echoes to go really wild with this effect, but make sure whenever you are increasing the number of echoes, the animation is going to get, the effect is going to get a bit heavy every time. So if I set this to 50, obviously we're going to get a much more cooler look, much more denser uh, particles. I, I need to bring down the, the glow actually. You see, it looks pretty cool. I can even play around with the echo time so if i set this to minus 0 0.2 we get something like this looks pretty weird but cool too in a particular way i think so yeah that is how you can create this uh, cool swirly lines uh, typography style animation inside of after effects i really don't know what to call this animation but i think it looks really really cool also, if you guys are looking for some awesome titles and lower thirds for your next project, then make sure to check out my essential titles and lower thirds pack. The link is in the description below. So that is a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, make sure you like the video and comment down below. If you're watching my video for the very first time, then please do subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon. So you always get notified whenever I post a new video. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at dope.motions where I am super active and I post content regularly on Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.